Super quick, super easy, five minutes. We made this Halloween candy holder with our Cricut, and we'll show you how we did it right now. Hey, if you like to do it, build it, make it, join us every week for a new video. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Welcome back. How are you doing? It is that time of year where we start to put together things for Halloween in our porch. So today we're making a tin that we put all the candy in. We're gonna use some vinyl. And we got a cute little saying we downloaded, an SVG file. And I'm gonna show you how we size our SVG file, separate the colors, and give it a cut. All right, let's get into design space. Here we are at our blank canvas. First thing we're going to do is upload our image, which better have my candy, SVG file. Here we are. Let's make this a little bit bigger to work with. Put that over here. All right, with these SVG files, you can see that this is a grouped image. Uh, and that's so that you can cut each color as a separate layer. Now a little trick to that is to add, oops, is to add a little alignment box. So we're gonna add a little square that will allow us to line, align each layer perfectly as we apply it. Now we'll need a box for each color. So let's put this box in a position that's easy to get to. Here we are. And we'll change the color of this block box to black. Now we'll add another box. We'll change it to purple for the purple layer and put it at position three, three. There we go. And we'll create another box and we'll make this the green box and put it at position three, three. We'll make one more. Just doing a control C, control V for copy and paste for the orange box. And we'll put that at position three, three. There we are. So now we have our little alignment square and this will make it easier to add each layer. Next step is to group and weld each color. So we'll take our original image, ungroup it. So I can select, let's see here, just my orange pieces here, group them. You see here I have just have the orange pieces. We also have to weld them so that um, the image stays in exactly the same dimensions and location as we see it on the screen here. So we'll hit weld there. We'll select that, we'll hide it, and we'll do this for each layer. We will group that and weld that and hide it. Oh, better have, I can't get to it, so I'm gonna move this to the back. There we are. And we'll group that, weld it, and hide it. And now, get those tiny little eyeballs. My, and the box, we'll group these, weld them, and hide them. Now this allows us to and the white is just its own one little thing, so I can hide that as well. So now we can unselect or view whichever layer we want and cut each layer at one time. Oh, one more thing is we need to size this to exactly the correct size. Let's see, have I have everything selected? The eyeballs are there, they're just in the back there, so no big deal. Let's select everything. Let's rotate, let's go ahead and group it first. It makes it a little easier. Rotate at 90 degrees because we're going to want to cut it on the mat vertically. And then we're going to put this over here at position zero, zero. And now we'll do just what we said earlier. We'll go ahead and hide hide the different colors and choose one color at a time. There we are, one color at a time to print. So we'll start with the green, we'll select make it, we'll use our green vinyl and we'll go ahead and cut. 
So we'll do that for each layer and then we'll meet you back at the project table and I'll show you how to apply them using the alignment square. All right, we have our vinyl cut. Now it's time to apply. So it's going on the front right here? That's right. So like I said earlier, we have these little, um, what are they called? Cash marks. Alignment marks, and these alignment squares, and we'll use those to get started. So let's start with the black layer. What do you think? Uh, should we have put the stuff on it first? What stuff? The mask or whatever. Oh, yeah. Let's weed it. So let's do all that first. All right. We have our vinyl cut. We're gonna transfer tape. We're gonna weed it and transfer tape it. Little weed and little transfer tape. Should we bring the camera over here and really show what we're doing? Because you can't really see what we're doing from this day. Okay. Do it yourself. Build it yourself. Make it yourself. So do we. So if you want to see more projects and you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And remember to hit that bell to be notified of our new videos each week. Before you go, check out one of these other videos over here, over on this side. Here's the subscribe button. Other videos to watch. <laughs> subscribe button.